We have previously discussed the one-sided Z-transform. In this lecture, we discuss how the Z-transform changes if we take the two-sided Z-transform of negatively indexed samples. In order to understand how this two-sided Z-transform works, let's spl split our sequence into two parts and perform the Z-transform on the two sides. Let's also suppose that our sequence Y of N takes this form. To calculate the two-sided Z-transform, let's invert our B sequence so that it looks like a normal Z-transform. Now we need to change the limits of the sum so that it goes from zero to infinity. Since b to the zero times z to the zero equals one, we can add negative one outside the sum to change the limits of the z-transform. Since we know how to solve both summations, we find that y of z equals this. The left fraction will converge when the absolute value of z is less than b, and when the absolute value of z is greater than a. With some mildly creative math, we can simplify y of z to this form. Based on this equation, we find that the ROC will look like a ring. The inner ring is determined by the value of A, and the outer ring is determined by the value of B. If the Z-transform can be expressed as a ratio of rational functions, then we can alternatively write the transform as a set of zeros and poles. The, the ROC will always be bounded by poles, and no poles can exist inside the ROC. For example, if we had this Z-transform, we would have a pole at 1 and a 0 at 0. For this right-sided Z-transform, the pole marks the inner boundary of the ROC. In this example, we have a pole at 2 and a 0 at 0. For this left-sided Z-transform, the pole marks the outer boundary the region of convergence, and the zero is inside the ROC. The Z-transform is a linear function. If we add two sequences together, then we can add their Z-transforms. If we add two Z transforms together, then we have to check to see how the poles and zeros will interact. If a zero cancels out a pole, then the ROC will change. Both X and Y have ROCs of absolute value of Z less than two. However, because their addition created pole zero cancellations for the pole at negative two, W of Z will have one pole at negative three, and the ROC of W will be the absolute value of Z is less than three.